Hi, I'm Katie Bergen. And I'm Elizabeth Johnson. And we are finding deeper meaning in Miley Cyrus lyrics today for Unravel. And so we're going to be looking um, at three of the songs from Miley's new album, Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets. It's with a Z. With a Z. Um, which she dropped for free um, at the VMAs this weekend. We should probably make it known that we are already pretty enthusiastic post Disney Miley Cyrus fans. Yes. In fact, we may or may not have gone to her concert in 2013 wearing homemade shirts that said twerk me Miley. Right. And we also sang Party in the USA um, at a karaoke bar in Ybor. Um, mostly I sang and Katie stood there um, staring I was there at the crowd. For <laughs> Singing's not my strength. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So we picked three of the songs from Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. And I have to say the album is, is pretty weird. It's mostly about her dead pets or her ex-boyfriends or her current girlfriends. It's hard to keep up. Yeah, and the vibe that it gives me is that she spent um, a lot of time in a closet, probably like hotboxing herself with weed, <laughs> and then just writing songs and then performing them. Um, because there's a lot of talking on this album. It's pretty raw take. Yeah, it's very raw, but real and relatable. Yeah, so, maybe. So, segue. <laughs> so the first song that we wanted to analyze is uh, Don't Be Sad, Karen, which um, the internet told me is most sort of, um, it, it makes clear her collaboration with the Flaming Lips the most, probably. Some people think it sounds like the Do You Realize song. I think it sounds like Hey Jude. You thought it sounded yeah. like a different Beatles song. Yeah, I thought it sounded like um, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Um, so it definitely has that vibe. And it's probably the most normal Yeah, song. it's like slow and ballady. Like the lyrics are like, oh, Karen, you take it all too hard. You've been talking to those fools again. They'll tear your world apart. And they basically like repeat that for... Yeah, it repeats over and over with a couple of changes. Um, but it's definitely it's, one of the m more normal. I'm not sure, we were talking earlier, we're not sure if she's talking about men. Or bullies. Or bullies. Which can be um, the same thing sometimes. Which, uh, yeah. So that's sort of it interesting. It could be about women can, who are can, also bullies yeah. sometimes. So it's interesting. Maybe it's about Nicki Minaj. <laughs> um, she made it plural so that we weren't pointing out Nicki Minaj. But I don't know. I don't know. All right. Second Moving song. on. The next song is BB Talk, and it is hilarious and weird. Um, so we definitely need to read you guys some lyrics so that you kind of can help us walk with us as we analyze who this song is about. Um, we're actually going to read our favorites completely out of context because we think that'll be fun. So I'll no, go and then you you'll go first. Go. Warning, there will be a lot of F-bombs. There are 24 total in this song. Mm -hmm. so. so, all right. I was sleeping next to him, but I was dreaming about the other dude. And then all of a sudden, everything that he did just made me cringe, and it was so hard to fall in, but so easy just to fall right back out again. All right, me next. I call this song the armpit song, so this is going to say why. Um, I mean, I don't want to say it in person. I just bury my head in your armpit, which weirdly smells good, in your hair, in your teeth. Like, why? Would I want to lick your teeth, but I do. <laughs> so mine is, my next favorite is, you know what, in the beginning it was like we were homies and shit, and then all of a sudden you started with some baby goo goo tongue down my throat. I mean, even in front of your mom. Dude, as if I'm not awkward enough. You know I hate that PDA. You know it's sweet, and you couldn't be more opposite of my last dickhead, but I don't know if I can get over the goo. Right. So we're going to say what we think this song is about. I got the theory. Okay. So we all know that Miley Cyrus was engaged to Liam Hemsworth, and then she dated Patrick Schwarzenegger for five months. So sh this is my theory. She's in bed with Patrick Schwarzenegger. She's really into his teeth and his armpits. However, but not she's his baby talk. thinking about Liam Hemsworth because Liam Hemsworth doesn't talk like a baby. And Patrick Schwarzenegger apparently does. Is mushy. It has to be pa Patrick Schwarzenegger, by the way, because he does truly have good teeth. Great teeth. I googled it. Yeah. And good so, teeth. Um, my favorite image of this song is imagining Miley Cyrus meeting Maria Shriver in her post First Lady of California glory. And I just with imagine the, with how awkward Patrick that would be. Patrick Schwarzenegger's tongue down her 
throat. throat. <laughs> apparently, apparently he's comfortable doing so, that. I mean, none of, none of us like PDA. Um, so uh, this do you is like baby talk. No, I don't like baby talk either. I'm okay with baby talk. I know you are. <laughs> Too much baby talk. Um, All right, we're gonna move on. Yeah, Pablo the Blowfish, probably the weirdest song. By but far the weirdest song. Can we even say that? They're all really weird. Anyway. Weirdest subject matter. It's an ode to her dead fish. Her dead Pablo, blowfish. The blowfish. Uh, yeah. I, of all the songs, this is probably the one that I can relate to the least. Don't like animals, don't have pets. So I have to ask you the question. <laughs> if Lucy, her dog, died, would you write a song celebrating her life? I don't know if I would write a song just because I'm not musically inclined. Um, but I get where she's coming from. I think this is a way for her to sort of gain closure. She's lost a couple of pets over the last few years, meaning her album, Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. Yeah, um, that's true. At least so three. It, so it is, it is sad because she has lost some dogs. She's lost this fish. Um, so it's tough. But in this song, does it's sort of interesting. It gives like a deep meaning. One of my favorite lines is, You've never been on land and you've never seen the sky. You don't know what a cloud is. Why did everything I love have to die? You really could insert anything instead of the blowfish. Yes, you could. And feel like you related to this song. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Do you want to talk about how she shames people who eat Yeah, meat it's hilarious. Um, what, on Saturday night, we all went out to eat, but I can never decide, so someone chose sushi. I got soup and I ordered rice, but watching my friends eat my friends ruined my appetite. This is what it's like for a vegetarian slash vegan to go out with fish eating Meat friends. Eaters. Yeah. It's we probably, can't it's probably to gotta be hard. I love sushi. I'm gonna have sushi for dinner probably. Yeah, Miley Cyrus isn't gonna like so, you. Sorry, Miley. All right, but. that's it. We hope you have enjoyed analyzing Miley Cyrus uh, yeah. with us. And, and give it a listen. I've yeah. listened to it like three times already. I've listened to it like seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>